Welcome back to On the Hunt to foxnews.com live. I'm Jonathan Hunt. Time for our weekly roundup of the new movie releases with our favorite movie man, uh, Matt Achety, editor-in-chief of RottenTomatoes.com. Fresh from a big Oscar week, we'll get into uh, Matt's thoughts on the Oscars in a moment. But first of all, Matt, um, it looks to, looks to me, according to Rotten Tomatoes, we don't have a great selection coming up this weekend. Uh, you know, it, it, like you said before the break, it, it's famine this weekend. It, it's kind of a rough movie. Uh, the critics are kind of harsh on everything that's opening this weekend. Uh, so let's go through them. First of all, the, the one that gets, I guess, the best ratings, Jack the Giant Slayer at 49%, but that, that rates as rotten on, on the, I can never say it properly, tomato meter? On, on the tomato meter. <laughs> tomato meter. But you can say tomato meter. That's okay. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so tell uh, us a little bit about Jack the Giant Slayer. Jack the Giant Slayer is based on the Jack and the Beanstalk uh, fairy tale. Uh, it stars a guy named Nicholas Holt, who was recently seen in a movie called Warm Bodies. Uh, he plays the lead. He plays Jack. Uh, great supporting cast here. Ewan McGregor, uh, Ian McShane, uh, Stanley Tucci, Ewan Bremner. Actually, it's kind of funny to see Ewan McGregor and Ewan Bremner in the same movie again. <laughs> Immediately, you start thinking of train spotting. Uh, <laughs> yes. This movie moves along quite well. I actually think it's pretty fun, uh, but it's not particularly memorable, and I think that that's where the critics that mm. don't like it are coming down on it. So it's rotten on the tomato meter, but that really means that the critics are split at 49%. I think they all expected better out of director Brian Singer, who had done the first two X-Men movies, uh, Usual Suspects. I think they were hoping for a little bit more out of him. All right, and then extremely rotten is Phantom. Phantom is really disappointing. I really wanted to like this. Uh, another great cast, Ed Harris, David Duchovny, William Fitchner. Uh, this is a story about a, uh, a Cold War era submarine uh, in the Soviet Navy, and Ed Harris is the captain. David Duchovny is a KGB agent in charge of the secret mission. Uh, and unfortunately, they're really hamstrung here by uh, a not very good script. Uh, the actors really give it their all, and I think they turn in fine performances, but the script is the weak part here. Mm. And you can't help think of other better submarine movies like Das Boat or Hunt for Red October or even Crimson Tide. Uh, so the critics really don't like it. It's only about 17% on the tomato meter, which is pretty rotten. And then 21 and over, the plot for which makes me think, how on earth do these movies ever get made? And it does come out pretty rotten. Well, I'll tell you what, how this one gets made. You get the writers from The Hangover, and they pitch, well, what if we did The Hangover with kids in their 20s no. that just turned 21? That's pretty much exactly, exactly what you get here. Uh, and it wants to be an outrageous comedy. It wants to be really tasteless and really cr crass, which it is. But the problem is, is you can do that in a movie if you're funny, but this movie doesn't deliver the jokes. So the critics really don't like it. It's only in the 20s on the tomato meter. It's, the score's been falling pretty fast. And, you know, they don't, you know, again, the biggest problem here, the jokes just don't work. All right. Uh, the, and the, then there's The Last Exorcism 2, which has no score yet. So let, let's skip over that, if you don't mind, Matt, because I, before we have to wrap it up here, I really want to get your thoughts on the Oscars best movie for Argo. I was really kind of touched in particular by the sort of Ben Affleck's redemption story. I was delighted by that. No director nod, obviously, not even a nomination. What did, what did you make of the Oscars overall? Uh, you know, I don't think there are any huge surprises, uh, you know, a, apart from who was presenting the uh, Best Picture Award. I guess if you, you're counting up the votes and you realize it's going to the movie that everybody expects, you've got to do something big to add a little surprise to the show. Uh, that being said, I, I think that Argo is a, is a good win. Uh, you know, in the acting awards, it was a little bit of a surprise that Christoph Waltz got it. A lot of people have been predicting mm. Tommy Lee Jones. Uh, but Christoph Waltz is a class act, as always. His acceptance speech was great. Uh, I, I think that Daniel Day-Lewis, that was, that was kind of a gimme. Uh, he had probably the best joke of the whole night, uh, which I think was great. But, you're, you know, when you're talking about Ben Affleck's redemption, I think you're dead on. You know, it's great to see here's a guy who had started off really big, seemed to have really messed up his career and was in the worst place possible as merely tabloid fodder and has put, him, has put himself out there with really kind of a new aspect to his career directing. I think we can expect great movies out of him continually in the future. All right, Matt Achety, editor-in-chief of RottenTomatoes.com. Great to see you as always, Matt. And uh, everybody go check out RottenTomatoes.com if you are thinking of going to the movies, renting a movie in any way on DVD or streaming or whatever, however you do it these days. Uh, it is the uh, best movie website you can find out there. Great to see you, Matt. Have a wonderful weekend, sir. Thank you. You too. Uh,